Ah, fitting music for Lemuria in Space, Episode 4. This time, we see a great battle between two armies. Who will win? Some ghosty boys, or their entire might of the Joman forces? Let's analyze. Analyze. Analyses. These troops. Looks like they got some flying warriors. Let's check them out. They are sacred. They have stormy mandy. They are mountain survival. But most importantly, they got a lightning strike in a bottle. That's handy. Even just for that, that strike, if you had enough of these with that one strike, you could do some huge damage. Then again, let's check out my lines and see how... Hmm? It's one guy. No? What about this guy? Yeah, this guy could get wrecked by those guys. This guy, I really doubt they'll be able to push through him. Ah, this smooth tones of this song. A little Adantium. Adanium? I got some wolves. Just throw some more food for me. Alright. It's been long enough. Let's watch the battle converge. Oh my god, it's so wild! It's crazy! Oh, their banishments are going off! Oh, mass banishments! So much damage going in! Oh, we really need to close the black lines! Oh, we're losing so many troops! Oh my god! How can we ever win this? This must be a loss for us, right? There's no way we can push through! Oh, it's crazy! Oh my god, all our troops are gone! It's over! Oh my god, what the heck are we gonna do? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's he doing? What's he doing there? Come on. This guy. Come on, you can win this. The archers are charging in. Oh my god. There's multiple smites going off. Holy word is going off multiple times around, but he's charging in. He's cutting them all down. What the heck? Why isn't he routed yet? Give me him. He's Morales 30. He's never on a route. He's cutting through them. The power. The power of Saturnu, the Limer Council. And he's still fighting something. Oh, he's casting spells. He's casting apostasy on them. Maybe he can capture some of them. Wow, what a battle. Let's slow down. This is a battle of wits. Of absolute minds. They cast Holy Word on him. They cast Holy Word on him. They're all priests. We could capture them all. Except for that guy. He's a wizard. Oh my god, it's come down to this! Can you believe it? Who do you think was gonna win? You saw my troops lose there, but this guy refuses to fail. He's unstoppable. Oh my god. And he keeps on casting apostasy. That's the best spell he can cast. He sees three mages, or three priests, so he keeps on casting apostasy. Oh my god. And they keep on casting Holy Word, but it's doing no damage against him. He's got 22 magic resistance. They just can't push through. This is an amazing battle. Will they ever turn? All we need is that guy in the back. If he just targets that guy in the back, he can crush the other two. The stellar decree. Oof. We are routed. Stellar decree. Holy word. I don't know what these spells do, but they're doing damage against nobody. Let's speed up again. Bam, bam, bam. Look at these beautiful sprites. They're doing little gestures. They're just raising their arms slightly. And magic comes out. A battle of wits. How's their fatigue? It's starting to max out. It comes down to this. His fatigue is only three. He is beautiful. These guys are going to fall asleep. His fatigue's getting too high. They're gonna fall asleep soon. These poor humans, they can barely resist. Ah, 
Ah. Close combat. Let's watch these strikes come down and see if I can hit. He keeps on casting apostasy. That's the best hope he has. He doesn't want to run it, even though if he, if he ran it... Oh, he's charging in now. Where's he going? What happened? Did he capture these guys? They're retreating on my side. I don't I don't get it. And now he's charging in. He's decided that it's enough. He's going to charge in. And he strikes him down with a fatal blow. There's only one left. How will he manage to fight this one guy? Oh, fascination. That could have... That probably wouldn't have done anything. And he wins it. Saturnia wins the bout. Epic stuff, folks. And there's a whole bunch of other events, but none of them really matter that much. Let's look what happened here. We control the ring. All thanks to Saturnu. His brave efforts... Oh my god, how many troops they got here? We can't fight another force like that. I don't think Saturnu can fight another force on his own. We all have to fall back. I'm afraid, folks, that was only a temporary win. We have to solidify our wins. We're going to need some... Back up. Luckily, we have the support. More forces must pour south. We have c controlled one world, but we must control more. How many kills did he get? Can we check? Let's check. Uh, what's our way to check? XP. 56 kills in melee. 56 kills. That'll probably rack up over the course of this venture. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to get over 20, 200, so he's not a real hero. He's only a 100% mastermind. Why don't these guys move in? I call them to move into this fight. I guess they retreated, didn't they? Was Man Hate there? Let's check that battle again. I didn't see him there. We captured two Kanushis. We got to check what happened to them. We had Limit should turn. So he was there. Let's watch it again. Where's Manhate during all this? There he is. I counted on you, Manhate. You're so fast. I can barely keep track of you. This guy's gotta do some damage. He wow, he delays on a whole line of horsemen. I went so fast I missed this guy. Oh, we're going for the ground here. Wow, look how much damage he's doing. He's cutting through those horsemen like butter. This is a battle you gotta watch twice. So what happens to him? Does he eventually see his men routing and retreat himself? His morale is less than the other guy. He keeps cutting down all these horsemen. He crushes a whole line of horsemen by himself, and now he's going after these troops. He's doing more damage than my own ghosts. He's killing a, an average of 0.5 units a round. It's about to increase. He does 22 damage a hit, and these guys only have, like, 10 health. Look at that, 38 damage. If only it was, like, 50% faster. Oh, he's not doing as much damage now. But he caused a whole another group to rout. He's so powerful. Wow. And what fitting tunes I picked for this battle. What's happening to that guy? He's aging or something? He's got a decay effect on him. Luckily, we're ghosts. Otherwise, that'd be doing massive damage against us. They got lots of cool troops. I might want to play as them next. I might have to play Lemuria against more difficult foes. I really want to get used to Lemuria. It's like two different skill sets playing as a gold warlike nation versus a free spawn nation. Oh, what? He's refleeing? Oh, he got scared. I see. Too many troops died, and he was like, Alright, I'm out of here. It's up to you, Saturnu. Oh, wow, he had to fight a... He had to fight an Earth Elemental. And he crushes it. It gets smaller and smaller. It does have regeneration, but it just gets run down, run down by those troops. 
Wow. Can you imagine? You have all these archers and they run out of ammo. So they'll just charge you. They're like, well, we fired 12 rounds. It's time for us to charge in. We can do more damage with our daggers than just leaving the battlefield. I don't know what's better. Having your archers charge the field or having them flee the battlefield when they run out of ammo. Can you see this one guy facing off this entire army? You can't really. What banishments going off? You think you'd die. And all he's doing is casting apostasy. He's not fighting back. Spanishers were doing more than the holy word. See, he's doing, taking some damage here. But he's regenerating j just as fast. Truly the hero of our nation. And it looks like all those archers flee. And these guys come in. How much ammo do these guys have? They had 12 too, but I guess they use them up faster than crossbowmen. Sir, is just caught casting apostasy. He's trying to capture these sacred units here. Heroes will be rising and falling in this adventure. And the, again, the music loops. Excellent. Well, we see an ending to this. Pretty epic. And we capture these guys. Let's check them out. They're just basic priests. Let's see what they do now that we've captured them. Where are they? Here they are. They become reanimator priests. That's pretty cool. Every priest you get becomes a reanimator. Alright, we can get more ghosts. That's yeah, pretty handy. Good thing they aren't attacking us from this direction yet. We got a lot of troops to deal with. And they got a lot of forts. We're gonna have to attack them where they were weak. They probably have lots of forts and they're just churning out hundreds of units. Let's check their stats. Army size. Let's cut out the irrelevant ones. They suffered a pretty de decent loss there. You can see they were making some improvements gradually, and then suffered a pretty big loss here. It's comparing to mine, and I apparently topped out in army size. I don't know what that means. Is the graph resized to show that mine's at the top? Or is it just not calculated above that? Anyway, it's been a good turn. Also, check out the side I found. I got these. They're just, they're nature ones, but that's pretty nice. The nature, nature one side. Because I can't recruit them from here anymore. I'm trying to get these guys to depths. For some reason, the command points are named there. Are these? Yeah, they're slow to recruit. If we had a better fort here. Hmm. Uh, we need a castle here. Alright. I think that's this episode. I'll show you my magic. I got enchantment 6 and. Uh, about to get construction four, so I can make skull staffs and other fun stuff. <sighs> we can cast rigor mortis. That's going to be the way for grinding through their armies. It's more efficient than throwing our troops at them. This guy is going to be sending his six death gems to cast rigor mortis, and we'll crush him. Next turn, we'll see. This battle, maybe, if it's interesting. We also got forces down here. Ring world. Blood hunting is continuing. We're getting a lot of unrest, though. I mean, look at my commander here. That's ridiculous. We keep on recruiting them for no good reason. 
got unrest here, we got some unrest here, we got about to run out of unrest here. And this guy's about to go attack these guys, let's send him up. He's gonna be followed by- oh, shoot. Push the wrong button. These guys are gonna move north. Okay. And last stop, we got like a uh, event here. We're gonna send this guy to investigate. You might get to see that next episode if it's cool. Who knows? Maybe the next episode will be like five turns away from now. I'll just record based on when cool things happen. Anyway, that's been this episode. Avoid elves. <laughs>